League of Hishinshin. What is League of Hishinshin? There's another YouTube channel I just posted. Um, shit. Okay, so if we... I mean, we've got enough damage, we've got enough engage, we've got enough everything that all we really need to do... All we really need to do is survive the landing phase, get to team fights, chain CC people, do our shit. Good to go. Yeah, if Silas steals Vayne's ult, he gets a stealth on every Q. Which really isn't that great when you think about it. The bonus damage is okay because of his passive. It's not, it's not like, it's not literally the worst ult to steal. It's not great. It's not the worst. I don't know if I like that sound effect. Ew. Ugh. It's a lame sound effect. Really? That's super lame. That one's kind of cool. So apparently I'm just playing Mike Tyson's punch out on Silas's face right now. That's kind of funny. My E didn't go for Silas. I think I would have had him if it did. How annoying. You really like that AA sound? Well, I mean, okay. I mean, if you're into that, I guess. So uh, we continue the tradition of his Shinshin always gets level three ganked. Up. Oh. Yep. Is this game number 37 of My Jungle Plays Bot, Their Jungle Plays Top? Why do they always gank me at three minutes? What's better yet is because they ghosted my ward and he ran um, all the way around. That's why he was actually late. Because he, he literally ran all the way around. He's, he did a blue to red clear and then ran like that. Yeah. The worst part is like I have to play aggro because Silas hard outscales me. So, like, I have to play aggro, but my jungler isn't doing anything, so I'm just getting ganked. Which puts me in a shit position. Because, like, if I let Silas just get... You know, if I, if I just do nothing, and he levels up, well... I'm sure we've all seen what happens when Silas gets some levels, you know? He kind of goes a little bit nuts. That's my... We're only halfway there? God damn it. It's like I'm living on a prayer. Yep. Oh. Yep. And that's what happens if I let him level up. You have to bully Silas early, because if he gets some points in his W, and he gets some cooldown reduction, he just goes nuts. Especially if I'm a tank with lower damage. Yes. Good. I'm glad that we gave all our ganks to bot lane. So they could die anyway and get no kills. Love it. At this point, it's like a fucking joke. I will always get ganked. My bot lane will not carry. Dude, just continue to queue. Don't even mind the Silas, man. That's uh, a Yasuo. Don't give a shit. Just hit him with some fucking Qs. And he's dead. It's like two Qs and he's dead. Why not? Why not just fucking kill him, man? At least we could have kill traded. Wouldn't that have been better? Well, GG. Stop playing only bot. No, I mean, at this point, it's just over. Silas has five kills. It's just over. Like... <laughs> Why do these 80 carries who are put in my games specifically to drag me down always shit talk as well? You are literally an LP loss. You are in my games to equalize this. The system has realized that you're bad enough that you might equalize out the two teams. 
That's your role. Your role is to be bad. Problem is, as a top laner, I have no control over whether or not I get to win a game. I have to rely entirely on, does the jungler let me? And this jungler decided, no, only bot gets to play the game. So now we are hoping that bot lane can outperform Superfed Silas. I mean, there was a cannon right there. Yeah. Jenga has no control over the game. If he had gone top rather than bot, we would be winning right now. Straight up, this game would be a win condition. We would be in an amazing position. And, uh, yeah. But instead, he decided to play around Vayne, who is now whining about lag and saying Varus is winning because of lag. No, I'm not. How the fuck am I tilted? It's just a Silas that managed to win lane. Like, Silas wins lane, he wins. That's what he does. If Silas wins lane, it's over. He wins. That's his whole shtick. He's super fucking good with items. But he's bad without them. Ah, now our vein has AFK. I love playing around bot lane. It's my favorite. Bot laners are always such good, rational people that playing around them always leads to wins. Yeah, see, Silas isn't supposed to be able to clear waves. That's kind of his whole weakness. But, uh... Well... Well, I kept Silas from getting my plates, so that's good. That's about all I could have done. The auto attack sound kind of grew on me when I started playing Mike Tyson's Punch Out on Silas. That one was pretty funny, not gonna lie. Can we, like, not do any damage to them here? Like, holy fuck. I, I feel like I was doing good CC, but, like, nobody died. I had good healing there, I had good CC there. Did she literally just flash in? Okay. What change does it make to make top more viable? It's not even a top issue at this point. It's really not. Like, they've actually done a good chunk of changes. It's just that jungle is so fucking broken. The entire game revolves around whether or not you get the jungler to gank your lane. And sometimes you just can't do it. You just cannot get the jungler to get in your fucking lane. And because of that, your entire lane, your entire game shuts down. I'm actually just using you to proc grasp and dying. Honestly, that had to be worth a lot of HP, right? Like, I, I think I got like eight procs in there, right? Oh, shit. Oh, that's bad. I 
I mean, you guys had gotten the dragon. I kind of figured the fight was over. And then there was a fight that wasn't over. I think jungle needs to be slowed down. I think they need to take more damage from the jungle. And I think Scuttler should, like, stop healing or something. I don't, I don't fucking know. Like, it just sucks that the only thing that stops a jungler is a jungler. The only thing that makes it a bad idea to sit and regank a lane is your jungler might do something. You know, either take the dragon or gank another lane better or take their jungle or counter gank. It just takes all the option out of your lane, out of top lane. You don't get, like, top lane is likely fine at this stage is what I'm saying. Like, honestly, top lane is pretty much fine. Like, they've actually buffed it a lot. Bad touch. Bad dodge. Bad dodge. Bad dodge. Bad dodge. Is that when we come back and fight after we have nothing left in our base? Why didn't they do that when I was alive and tanking?